Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel, NB Infotech. In this video, we are testing Kaspersky standard antivirus against 100 latest executable malware samples, and 10 malicious scripts. Let us find out, whether Kaspersky standard antivirus will survive this attack or not. Before we start the test, Let's look at the features, settings, and configurations of Kaspersky Standard Antivirus. If you are a new visitor, please consider subscribing to the channel, and, hit the bell icon to receive a notification. I have stored malicious samples in two different password protected zip files, to avoid accidents. One zip file contains executable samples, and another zip file contains different types of malicious scripts. Let's extract them first. But before extracting, I need to disable antivirus real-time protection. It will be turned on before the test. Our malware bundle includes a total of 100 fresh malware samples, and 10 potentially harmful scripts. Which includes spyware. Trojan horses, worms, ransomware, stealer, viruses, botnets, rootkits, keyloggers, grayware, adware, payloads, etc. Let's enjoy the Kaspersky antivirus test, but please provide your feedback on the antivirus responses regarding malware defense in the comments section below. Also, if you appreciate my work, consider subscribing to the channel and like this video. Because it gives me an energy boost for more work.
As per the Maltester application test results, Kaspersky standard antivirus has successfully blocked 90 threats out of 100 malware samples. As you can see in Process Explorer window, one malicious threat is running on the system. It's now time to run a second test on hazardous scripts. 
I have 10 distinct sorts of scripts for this examination. Let's see how Kaspersky's standard antivirus fights against this malicious attack. I had decided to perform a full system scan before perform any second opinion scan. But it has been consuming lots of time. So I am performing a quick scan. Quick scan is also helpful because in this scan antivirus will check for all the possible location where malware hides.
now I am performing second opinion scan with Hitment Pro, and Norton Power Eraser, that is NPE to find out malware remnants from the system. If you have watched this video so far, then congratulations because you're taking important steps towards enhancing your cybersecurity knowledge and skills. Stay tuned for more valuable insights, and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates. Even after performing all these scans with different antivirus programs, one thread is still running on the system. That might be a false positive, but this one is a newly created thread during the test. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel NB Infotech, and press the bell icon to receive the notification, whenever we upload a new video. In the comment, suggest to us more antivirus tests that you want. Till the time take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.